a terrific shot. Left it a little high above the net. The shot was on. For Pliskova to try to open up the backhand. If you go there against Zhang, go there with some heat. And that forehand, that is money. Oh. Tried to make something happen with the forehand. She was feeling under pressure. 15 left. He would have been in the other corner, wouldn't he, when he played when she played Osaka back in 2019. Game. It's a little bit of a double negative because you don't have the matches behind. You don't quite have the confidence you had when you were playing multiple matches week in and week out. And so it's been, I think, a struggle for Pliskova throughout the year. No way. Was just away. That would have been such a good start. Stayed home, didn't she? It seemed like she was in neutral position with this shot, but Pliskova completely turning the tables. Too good. Fifteen left. Game. Because of course that's happened a couple of times against Barty at Wimbledon in 2021. Lost six three in the third, and then always nice as a coach to see a plan come to fruition. Since then, for the most part, Pliskova has played sort of in that top five position. And for Zhang right now, she's gotten to a career high this year. So some really positive signs for her. Pliskova trying to get back up. Oh, that is some skills. Some brilliant shot making there. A lot of creativity. The reactions, the placement, her shot selection right now, everything is on point. Yeah. There's another four out winner off a second serve. Incredible angle. Fourteen. Game. Zhang has been blanked in that opening Six set. Games. Even a point like that, I would start looking at her just going into the open. In here, just, you know, playing the futures. I'm at the top table here. Thirteen. Actually, just taking a deeper dive into Pushkiver's six love. She even gets a little luck to go her way, Pliskova. 14, 13. Just the 
sixth break point that Pushkov has actually offered up so far in the tournament. Yes. Effectiveness behind her first serve. Oh, it's brilliantly done, but you have to question again, Jean's forehand approach shot. She didn't hit it One that well on top of it. You've got to go up the line, keep the ball in front of you, and then work from there. That was very tame, trying to take it on the rise and pay the price. She's missed a few on that side that you wouldn't expect. You start to lose belief, though. Those losses add up. That becomes a bigger struggle. Don't have a big weapon to sort of get you out of, of that mindset. Yay. Lovely redirect. Does that very nicely, doesn't she? It's a very natural shot her back end down the line. Improve her play here. There is a little bit of a, a feeling of inadequacy to do the same thing. When it's so difficult to turn the point around when Pliskova gets the lead, she gets ahead in the rally. And she tried to do something different there. She put in a quicker second serve down the tee, hoping that Pliskova was going to run round it like yeah. she has done on occasions. But Pliskova, aware that there may be a change in strategy, latches onto that one. Oh, nice oh. More for yeah. placement, but Zhang was behind that one just enough. Kind of reset that point. And she's nailed it. Pick the serve. Delivers the return, and what a turnaround here in the second set after what we witnessed in the first. And this is why Zhang has been battling, holding on to her serve, looking for her opportunities, and gets it. And she's been getting. Too good. She has a much better record of defending out the backhand side than Zhang. She does get pushed out there. She's looking to hit a clean winner. Oh, and look how much court Zhang left open. I mean, that ball cross court was a little. Euphoria of going up a break in this second set, diminishing pretty quickly here for Zhang. It's a suboptimal start to the game with a double pull, having got the momentum for the first time in the match. I'm here being neutral. <laughs> you're not you're believing to, that. You're, you're allowed, not buying that. You're allowed to close. <laughs> Game. Delayed for the moment. Well, it's a second consecutive quarterfinal of a major tournament for Pushkova. She made the same stage in New York. 
and she is back in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open for the fourth time in her career. A couple of little obstacles along the way, but for the most part, that was fairly serene progress for her, Chanda. Yeah, and maybe, you know, feeling just a little sweeter for Karolina Pliskova. Wasn't able to play here last year. 